You might be seeing some news stories about home buying and how it's changing for the home buyer. It's going to cost you more. This is in regards to the National Association of Realtors Settlement. You're probably seeing some stories in the news that are telling you that home buying is changing, and it is. But what about this do you need to worry about? Hi, I'm Kim Devlin with the Kim Devlin team in Northeast Florida. I'm going to try to simplify this for you and tell you what we know to have changed and how this will affect you. So this is what you need to know going forward. For an agent to show you a property, you must sign some form of a buyer's broker agreement or a showing agreement for a specific property or properties before they are legally allowed to show you a single property. This doesn't mean you need to sign a year-long agreement and you should never feel pressured to do so. However, you definitely want to make sure that you are working with an agent you are comfortable with. This is why we offer a few options to our buyers to ensure that we are a good fit for them and that they are a good fit for us while allowing us to show them a property. And I can go over those with you, so feel free to reach out to further discuss. But essentially, in any of these agreements, a buyer is agreeing to be responsible for the buyer agent's fee for showing the property and negotiating on their behalf, etc. A buyer may read the agreement and say, I can't bring all the extra cash to pay their agent on top of their down payment, prepaids, taxes, and insurance and title policy. The truth is, buyers are still allowed to and nearly all will ask the seller to cover their agent's fees as part of the terms within their offer on a house. And hopefully most sellers will agree because they have been well prepared by their listing agent and some will have already be offering some sort of compensation to a buyer broker anyway. So they will be expecting it. So buyers, you can take a breath because unlike most professions, you typically won't pay your agent by the hour for all the properties they show you, the inspections and repairs they help arrange. Their fee is paid if you close on a home. So if the seller isn't agreeing to cover those costs as part of the negotiation, you can walk away. It's no different than walking away during the inspection contingency if the seller doesn't agree to do the repairs that you've requested in the negotiation. So buyers, you are still in the driver's seat. If you don't like what the seller is covering, you don't have to agree and you can move on to another home. Now, if the seller is not going to pay your agent's fees and you still want that house, you need to know going in that you will be required to pay your buyer's agent for their service. The fee is of course negotiable and fees are not set by law. So now you may be wondering, why don't I just go to the listing agent? Well, you can, you absolutely can go in unrepresented, but ask yourself this, is that listing agent looking out for you or the seller that hired them? That could be a costly mistake that costs you more than your buyer agent fee. So just some food for thought there. So now that's what has changed with the North Settlement. This is why it is much smarter to work with a skilled buyer's agent that isn't just a door opener, but one that can negotiate best price and terms to ensure you get into the house that you want. I hope this eased some home buyers' minds. I do appreciate you tuning in. Thanks as always, and I'll catch you on the next one.